so during the game uh, so when there is some critical moment uh, i used to get very tensed so we were speaking about this uh, responsibility is limitless if i am conscious maybe i can avoid it but uh, if i am not like sometimes it's on and off um, but if i am not conscious if i get tensed is there a way to come out of it like immediately mm see what is tension let's understand this you can call it tension you can call it stress you can call it depression you can call it manic depression you can call it misery or you can call it madness tension or stress means a limited amount of madness actually small variation i mean small uh, sample you are having of madness isn't it essentially your thoughts are bombarding you at a pace that you can't handle suppose you think i'm representing india a uh, too much tension 1.4 billion people's expectations on your head will kill you okay your parents expectation will kill you don't worry about all those things you just have to play this one more right isn't it the tension is coming because am i winning am i losing will i get the trophy will i not get it will i get this what will happen to me when i go back with all this you will be less than yourself this is the only crime you can commit when you're playing a game you are less than yourself if somebody is better than us they will win what to do hello it's all right somebody is better than us they will win what can we do about that but we are less than ourselves that is a crime that crime if you do not commit rest is okay i know that is the whole training in the world how this pragnananda wants to win all the chess games in the world don't do that don't try to win all the games in the world this one move you must do it right that's all hello how do you win all the games in the world only in your dreams you can do that hello in reality you can only make one smart move isn't it they're not even allowing two at a time are they <laughs> only one so only one smart move you have to make you don't have to make the next one and the next one well you try to foresee where it, what will he do all right what will he do you can foresee at, to some extent but you still don't know you still don't know you may be expecting him to make a very intelligent move he may make a dumb move but if you are thinking he is very smart and you have to be smarter than him you will miss the dumb move and that will be the biggest mistake isn't it so for this what you need is to be conscious to be conscious means the more see this is the nature of the mind why people's minds are just running away beyond them is it is like why somebody is running to the toilet every 5 minutes is they have eaten something bad yes or no so if you've eaten something bad one way to stop it is take a tablet do this do that and stop that's one way if it's an emergency but the most significant thing to do is stop eating that bad food which upsets you so the same goes for your mind the bad food that you can eat is you identify yourself with something that you are not when i say that we have gone through the inner engineering the body the mind everything we gathered isn't it you being a chess player there you gathered over a period of time you were born a chess player no so just to sit here as a life and look at it with the best possible way and what we figure we figure what we don't we don't isn't it but our ability to figure something is greatly reduced the moment we have unnecessary level of thought process so you handle only one move at a time when you practice you you practice all the moves whatever but when you're playing only one move this move if you do it right and wait to see what the other person does that's all there is isn't it and when the other person does you have no conclusion about this is a great player don't even look at their face this is a great player this is an idiot this is this this is that don't do all this just look at this where is he putting it that's all that matters isn't it so i am saying your presence of mind for the game is more important than any plans that you've drawn up all these plans and stuff is to flex your mind so that you are conversant with everything you are conversant with all the things that can happen on the board before you go there how many million ways they can do it 
into whatever extent you can, you're trying to figure it out before the game. But when you sit for the game, it's only one at a time, isn't it? So ki because if you don't know the game and you sit there, of course, that's a different game. You know the game, now all you have to do, be, do is to be alert to what's happening. For this, you don't need any great plans. Well, maybe you have figured out what is his natural tendency, how he plays the other person, so what you should do, but don't be conscious about it, don't give too much importance to it, because he may surprise you. He may surprise you with a brilliant move, or he may surprise you with a stupid move, both happens, isn't it? Brilliant move if he does, how to counter it? We should have thought it out. But if he does a stupid move, if you miss it, that means we will become double idiots, isn't it? Hello? Because always you're waiting for that stupid move to come. So you don't think about all these things, you just pay attention, that's all. Human attention is paramount importance, not human thought, human attention. You want to hit a ball, you want to move this, your attention, how keen it is, that's all that matters, isn't it? What great thoughts and desires you have will not matter. So never try to be a champion, I'm saying. Just be a great chess player, others will say you're a champion. That's great. If others say you're a champion, that's a great thing, we would like to see that. But if you think I'm a champion, champion, it's a dumb thing to do, isn't it? Let's do that.